musician Annie and today is another video for the back to school series back to school with Jackie and Annie um, first of all I just want to kind of apologize for not having a video up on Tuesday I um, haven't really been feeling well this whole week and I still kind of feel like eh, it's like hard to explain but um yeah, so I just, I haven't been able to get a video up, but today I've been feeling a lot better, thankfully. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get a video up before it's Tuesday again, so I don't have to have that, like, back-to-back -back thing going on. But yeah, um, today's video, I will be doing five hairstyles that I believe are easy. I think everyone can do these. Um, I'm not sure if every... Yeah, everyone can pull this off, so from like short to long, whatever kind of length of hair, whatever kind of hair you have, as long as you're not like bald or whatever. Um, but yeah, I believe everyone can pull these off. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and without further ado, here are my five back to school hairstyles. Some hair ties, and of course bobby pins, and I use the ones by Goody that are for blonde hair. Alright, so for the first hairstyle, I'm just grabbing some of the hair um, that's sort of to the left of my part, and you're just going to basically make a knot, and it's kind of complicated at first when you, you know, don't have the hang of it, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Um, as you can see, I actually mess up the first time, even though it's out of frame, but you basically just take the hair and twist it around your fingers towards the back of your head and pull the hair through just making a knot it's a basic knot um, really easy hairstyle but it looks really cool and it almost looks difficult to do but it's obviously not and yeah you just take your bobby pin and yeah that's a great face that's really attractive Annie um, and you just take your bobby pin and pin it in the back I was trying to make sure you guys could see this as best as you can but you basically just pin it in the back of your head and that's basically it. You can use two if you need to, um, but you kind of just check it like I did and fluff the hair, kind of move the hair over the bobby pin, and yeah, that's basically it. Looks really cool and unique, and I really like it. It's really easy. And as you can see, I'm about to grab my mirror to check it. So I'm just checking it in my mirror to make sure I like how it looks and just trying to cover up the bobby pin as much as possible and awkwardly bending down and make sure you guys can see how it looks. And yeah, I just really like it. This is the front. Just kind of fix your hair a bit and you're all set. Okay, so this next hairstyle is pretty similar to the last. You're just going to take a strand of your hair, or a few strands obviously, and start twisting it and then as you twist you're going to grab more pieces or sections of hair I guess I should say and just add them to that twist and you basically just keep doing this until you you know you are what's the word I'm looking for you're just like you're fine with how it looks <laughs> there we go we'll just go with that wow that was nice good job Annie and yeah you just basically just do the twist like the song and you're going to bobby pin it in the back. You can obviously use one or more, however many you need to secure. And that's basically it. Um, this is again a really easy hairstyle, but it's just something to kind of jazz your hair up. And you just kind of fluff your hair over the bobby pin and bam, <laughs> you have your hair. That made my nose look really large, but yeah, that's what it looks like from the front. Just kind of fix your hair up. And again, you have a really nice, easy hairstyle. And these are also great because they pull your hair out of your face. And I'm going to do a little dance for you, so enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so this next hairstyle is basically just a half up, half down ponytail. Really simple, just basically pulling my hair back, sort of sectioning it off on the top, making sure everything looks good. And... 
Yeah, I love this hairstyle because it's amazing for pulling the hair out of your face and that's really good to have while you're at school because it's annoying when your hair keeps falling into your eyes. But yeah, I mean basically this is just kind of, this is probably the easiest, well I don't think it's the easiest one, but it uh, just looks really cute I think and especially if your hair is sort of not parting the way you want or just something doesn't look right this is just a great hairdo to do to just sort of you know end that and you just kind of grab a ponytail and ponytail it off is that even a verb ponytailing it I don't know um but yeah obviously I would have used a ponytail my hair color if I had it but I could not find one so I do apologize which is why this one is pretty light I mean it obviously doesn't really matter um, it's just making yourself look better. You can also probably take a piece of hair and try to wrap it around the actual ponytail or you could even put like a bun or a bun. Put a bow there and I think it would look really nice. Um, but yeah, that's just basically the look. I mean, it's pretty much very simple and casual. But again, it's just doing something in your hair and also pulling it out of your face, which is always helpful at school or anywhere in life, really. <laughs> okay, so for the last two hairstyles, they are updos, just ponytails. The first one's just a sort of more down ponytail, I guess you would say. I don't know. I don't really do this one a lot, but it definitely kind of is a little bit more professional so if you have like a presentation or you just feel like you know looking a little bit better um, this is definitely a ponytail that I would recommend you basically just put your hair in a regular ponytail and then I like to kind of pull the sides out a little bit and pull little pieces in the front to frame my face and then this is kind of the more complicated part but you basically just kind of loosen the ponytail as I'm doing there and split it in two above the ponytail if that makes any sense and you're just gonna basically take your hair and put it through that hole that you're making and it can be a little bit tricky at first but I promise you that once you get it it's a really easy thing to do and it just looks really cool like again it looks like you took a lot of time but you really didn't mine was obviously a little crooked here but I would have fixed that um, but obviously I was just filming this so I didn't really pay much attention but like I said, it just looks really cute, I think, and it's a little bit more of a more like professional pulled back kind of look, which I think is really awesome. I obviously realized that it was crooked by that face I just made, but yeah, that's basically what it looks like. And uh, again, it's just kind of a twist on a ponytail. Okay, and for the last updo slash hairstyle is a basic pony with a braid. And I personally like to do this with my part, um, like out, that hair flip though. Um, you can probably do this with or without a part, but personally I like to use my part. I feel like it makes it a little bit more easier for the braid that you have to do. But you could try to do it without a part, I guess. But basically you're just going to pull some hair, um, whichever side of your part you like better and you're just going to braid it back and this is just pretty much the trickiest part of the hairstyle um, I just think throwing in a braid with a ponytail really just kind of dresses it up and makes it look a little bit like you tried harder um, and it also just it's fun and it's cute and again it does look a little bit more difficult even though I promise you it's not it's just all about figuring out where exactly you put your braid and then once you have that down you know you can basically you can even do probably a fishtail obviously you could do French but I'm trying to make these easier so I just did a basic braid and once you have it braided you're just gonna kind of pull the rest of your hair back with the braid and I'm living for my double chin though in this frame Wow but yeah you just kind of pull it back and you take your ponytail and you ponytail it off <laughs> and then I just kind of like loosen the sides up after I do that and pull some strands out in the front to frame my face Wow, that looked painful <laughs> And also, I actually did this after I filmed the video because I kept this hairstyle in, but you can take a piece of your hair and wrap it around the the um, ponytail, the little, what do you call it? You know, the thing you 
ponytail your hair with, even if you feel me. And it just kind of makes it look cuter, but I did not do that in this video, so I'm sorry I did not think about it. But yeah, that's that's how it looks. It's kind of cute, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, it just sort of adds a little bit of style to the ponytail. And it's obviously not that difficult, so I mean, yeah, it's just something to make your updo look a little cuter. Maybe you can wear ponytails more than once a day if you get what movie that's from. You're awesome! <laughs> But yeah guys, that's basically the last of that, and that's the end of my five hairstyles. Okay guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out all of Jackie's information in the description box below because all of her videos are amazing. And as well as if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All of my information will also be in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, I hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever it is where you live. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.